the video blog theme for this week is demo your work with visuals to the team and explain what, why, and how. So I'll demonstrate uh, a system per day to kind of elaborate on how they work. Within the editor itself, the first system to demonstrate is the object outline system where looking at a interactable object would highlight it to indicate that it's interactable. So if I were to go into experience and kind of go to the bird, of course, you can see that it's a bit highlighted. It's even see-through. If I move the camera away from it, the highlight disappears, but when I put it back, it's there again. So the way that works is if I were to go into the character blueprints for it, it's essentially saying is to get the camera, get the location of the camera, get the forward vector location of it, so the direction which is looking for, multiply it by the range at which you want the object outline to uh, take effect. So right now I've set to the fall of 800, which is rather big. It will probably be lower in future builds. And what that does is everything gets fed into this line trace for objects node. What this does is it's basically saying, all right, let's make an array of all objects we have categorized under world dynamic. It could be any of these, but world dynamic I chose. If it picks this up in the world within this range value, it would trace a line from your character to it. Line trace for objects is useful in many situations. The, the, the way it's used in this situation is it's basically tagging an object in the world as existing relative to the player. And what this essentially does is we create a branch node saying, okay, if the line trace hits a object, which does this return true, goes into the condition, so this is a true condition. If that's true, we go into another true false node. The condition on this one is basically saying whatever object it hit, so this break results node here, whatever object it hit, if the object is equal to a world dynamic object. If that's true, then you go to the set node here, which is basically telling it to activate the outline essentially. Now, of course, there are multiple false conditions as well. Going back to the first uh, branch node, if it's false, it tells the engine to do one, essentially just say stop. It tells the engine to don't trace anything. That's why whenever you move the camera away, the trace disappears. Let's say it passes through true in the first branch node, but hits false in the second one. If it hits false, what it means is that it hit an object, but it's not tracing yet. So you tell the engine to start the trace. And once it starts the trace, you keep it perpetually traced. So you can kind of see that the true and false node go to the same set world dynamic node. So that tells it to start it if it isn't highlighting and keep it highlighted until you look away and it triggers the false node and to do once into stop trace. So that's more or less how the trace system works.